let's look at the graph again this graph here just to check that you know what you're doing here um, it's very slightly different to the one you saw in the other video because I noticed something so we're going to just check the data this data if I click this one here these sets of points here they relate to here and the red ones are anodic and we said they were anodic here there's the current and there's the voltage in millivolts okay if we click that's the red line if we click the blue line they're cathodic here and you can see the current and the voltage and they're cathodic so this one here is cathodic the blue one whereas the red one is anodic so you sweep it from anodic to cathodic but all on the using the forwards direction the other set of data is this one here which is the cathodic in the reverse direction so what does it mean it means as you're going from let's say cathodic here you go all the way up the green line to the blue all the way to the end here and then you go back that way and up the red so we'll do it the reverse direction it sweeps this way and then goes down that way now there's a little bit of a discrepancy because in actual fact this red line um, should meet this blue line exactly so it really this little bit of red um, data point here the voltage is a little bit lower than the, the one on the on the blue but it should be either just about the same or just a bit above so but that's because of errors in the experiment it really should be this in and then out now <clears throat> if you want to show this um, into just cathodic and anodic um, instead of having three colors you could then change the blue to being um, a green um, if I know how to do that change the color um, format data series um, line the color is blue and if I can just change that now to green it's not quite the same green uh, maybe that green I think you get the point anyway um, now you can see this is all I'd have to send the icons here but it's all green and that's all red it just so happens in the forward direction you have both cathodic and anodic whereas in the reverse direction it's just cathodic but the sweep is going along here along and then up all right and some of the curves like for example this one was done at another time yeah you can can actually see it goes up and meets in the middle and then goes back up that way so it depends on your data um, but these are the curves I want you to get and um, this point of intersection here the voltage at that point I think should correspond to the voltage that you've been getting for VC when you've not applied an electrical current so it should correspond to that and then what we're going to try and work out from TEFL is if you put a straight line along here and a straight line upon there and they intersect at uh, that point should give you the current within the lead electrode um, at uh, is what's called the corrosion current so this is the hypothetical current as if you've not connected it to a a circuit it's just what's happening within the electrode on its own so we're going to try and work that out by doing some straight lines okay so it's this data I want you to be able to, to get I hope that's a little bit clearer don't worry too much but I'll, about some of the theory but I just want you to be able to get these curves down